This is the handbag husband. The handbag husband. International. Yay. International. So today, as you can see, we are here in the beautiful city of Venice early on, and the lighting here is just oh, so, so amazing, especially early on in the morning. But really for this video, what we want to talk about is the bags that we got offered here on this trip, because we're going to visit four different boutiques from Hermes, uh, Milan, as well as Venice and Florence and Rome. At this point, we're already halfway through. So we've gone to Milan, we've gone to Venice, and I will let you all in a secret. <laughs> we got some great bags already. And we still got two more to go. So in this video, we're going to talk about the bags that we got offered on our Hermes Capades here in Italy. And we're talking about uh, whether we picked them up, uh, whether we didn't pick them up, and uh, what we thought about them and why, if we didn't pick them up, why we didn't pick them up. Now, of course, if you like these videos, if you like the Hermes conversation, if you like the Hermes milieu, and if you like the bag candy, and I mean, this video, <laughs> it's gonna have so much bag candy, don't forget to like and subscribe because it does really help the channel grow. And of course, we are so, so thankful for that. Also, it means that you get notifications when our long videos come out, when our short videos come out, and all the other stuff we have on the socials at Handbag Husband on Instagram, as well as YouTube, because we have new Hermes content coming out every single week. All right, let's talk about some of those bags that we got offered. So let's start off with uh, our visit to Milan and what we got offered there, because that was the first boutique we went to. And I will tell you that they actually offered us way more stuff than I thought they were going to. I thought to. they were like, sorry, no bag, wow. Yeah, yeah, I thought they were like, yeah. you, no bag, yeah. out, right? Yeah. But uh, they were actually like pretty amicable. Um, and although they didn't have, uh, I mean, they had huge amounts of bag candy. You'll see it in our bag candy videos. I mean, they just had so many big bags. Oh, I fell in love. But uh, what they offered to us was a little bit more mundane, but not bad. And we did end up picking up some stuff. first two things that they kind of opened up the uh, initial engagement with. <laughs> I feel like that's for everyone. Yeah. They yeah, offer that to yeah, everyone that yeah, came in about yeah, the same time as yeah, us. So, yeah. yeah. And of course, we were almost the first. Were we first? No, we were almost first. No, almost first yeah. And so that really did help as well. Um, but their kind of initial offer uh, was first the Bolsoy bag, which is like a new bag. I've seen it online. It's, it's, sil it's all silk. It's not structured at all. It's kind of like a... a I don't know what's the lining. I, I didn't look at it. Yeah. We didn't, I mean, we didn't even look at it because we knew early on, like, this is not what we were really interested in. Uh, as well as the steeple bag, which is kind of like basically an etrive style, like large tote. carry all tote bag. Goes right um, yeah, yeah, like horse themed. And, it's nice and things like that. But again, for Hermes, you know, we're looking for more kind of all leather, professional level kind of bags. And so, Not professional per se for mm. me, but more, I just like leather from yeah. that. Hermes so. does leather well, right? I yeah. mean, the camera's okay as well, but leather is what they're known for. So. Correct. Um, and I think, I mean, obviously early on, we, we, we shot that one down, but like, I think, I think you brought up a good point that they use those bags just kind of as a, as a, almost like a decoy, right? To get the like early people out, just be like, oh, this is what you want now, or get that conversation going. But that being said, as the conversation continued, and as we gave you know, our essay, who was amazing, a kind of better description of what we were looking for and what our experience with Hermes and what we were hoping to get, um, is when she started to pull out something very, very interesting. And this one is always heartbreaking to say no to. Because you say no <laughs> to this bag at least four times, maybe? We say no to this bag at least once every trip, basically, true, right? True. Um, and the reason we say no to it, oh, fine. first of all, it was the Kelly Depeche 36 in box leather. Oh, oh so beautiful. I just love box leather. Um, but the issue with it, and it was in black with uh, palladium hardware. And we actually had been offered this one uh, when we were in Paris, in Sev, where it was the black on black version. Yes. Yeah, uh, we also got Sloan. offered uh, in Sloan Street in yes. London as well. So these exact <laughs> the, the These exact, exact one that's Sloan, um, yeah. But these, the reason why we had to say no to it is because I already have this bag and it's already too small. So it doesn't fit like my daily business journal and laptop and newspaper and all that kind of stuff thin. that I carry. It's just too thin. I mean, it's a beautiful bag. And too small bag. too, I, I, think, I guess, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it's really good for something light, like if you just need to carry, you know, if you're going to like a real quick business meeting or something like that. A fancy business yeah, meeting. Yeah, a fancy business meeting. <laughs> but, uh, you know, for a day-to-day -day kind of carry, uh, it, it's it's not uh, ideal for it. And so there's no reason to duplicate it if it's not working, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but the other thing is that, um, you know, on this trip, we got something that does work. But wait, let's, we'll talk about that one here in a second.
Uh, another one that they offered was actually one for you, right? And you tried it on, and you look, we, we get... Uh, this you is were one we, encouraging me to try yeah, it. I was like, yeah. why not? I was like, yeah, sure, yeah. why not? Yeah. Well, because, you know, again, this is another one of those bags we get offered quite often. Uh, and I'm, I'm open to retrying it in different colors, because I think maybe there is maybe there is a combination that we like. I just don't know what it is, uh, which is the Etrive. So it's kind of like the steeple bag, but it's a little bit bigger, a little bit more plain. More this, masculine. Yeah, maybe? it's more masculine I think it's for more sure. Masculine, uh, yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's it, well, this one was in brown with gold uh, hunter leather on it, and the hunter leather is very interesting. Uh, I have I, seen some like Bergen or Ke uh, Kelly with hunter leather. It's mm, pretty nice too. Yeah, yeah, but you don't yeah. see that often. No, at it's all. easy to mistake for swift leather as well, right? Because it's kind of smooth, or maybe yeah, it could yeah, yeah. It's kind of like in between, no. Yeah. I actually um, don't know, but yeah, I've seen it's like, oh, what, what leather is this? Yeah, yeah, but as I start seeing more and more Hunter, I'm kind of like, oh, should I be trying to get some Hunter leather? Yeah. But I don't, th I don't think I really see Good it on... Good luck hunting yeah. for it. Uh, ah. Ah. This is such a clever girl. Um, so yeah, so we, we saw it, we tried it, you tried it, and you know, I think this one, it is nice, but it, it, we came to the same kind of conclusion as we always do, which is, oh, what, oh. what else you got? What else yeah. you got for us? Yeah. yeah. Which is uh, brings us to the next one, which is another thing that we ended up picking up from this. And this is the only one we picked up from this boutique, is the Constance Slim Wallet. It was black and Epsom. And uh, I don't know, it wasn't something we were looking for, but when it when we saw it, we were kind of manipulating it and feeling it. It just kind of felt right, no? I think it's just practical. Mm. So, because I have one in Marinia. Yes. That one is... Not practical. Keep massaging. <laughs> yeah, <exactly>. Keep massaging. <laughs> yeah, you have to keep massaging. Yeah. This one also, okay. I'm not the biggest, biggest fan of Epsom, but yeah. I know yeah. that there's a, like, why is it useful? Why, mm. why it has to be Epsom on, I mean, on I guess some of the on, uh, small leather goods? So for, for us, what was the reason that you chose it? Because typically we like larger leather items just no, in general, right? this is like for right? coins but, or like yeah. a small knickknack, put it in, mm. put it so in So how does this work purse. in your like bag system? Like I don't know, I don't know yet. We'll, we'll <laughs> see. You're like, we'll I liked see. it, we'll figure it out afterwards. Yeah, yeah, why not? Yeah. It has yeah. the belt loop on it, so you could like put it on your belt. I don't even belt, wear a belt. I mean, I don't know, yeah. Um, I might, you, I might uh, put it on, uh, oh, what's the word for it that you love saying? The back strap. Oh, the bandolier or that whatever? That one, yeah. So yeah, I'm, so you, you, have double should, po you have double pockets on it? Yeah, why yeah. not, yeah. Yeah, so it'll be interesting to see how it worked out, but we, we saw it and uh, we were very happy that you showed it to us and we decided to take this one home. So we'll do a full review on it. It's not uh, quite back offer, but wallet. It's, it's a bag, it's a bag, uh, yeah, in, sure. in a more loser sense, right? Sure. Um, so yeah, so that was another one that we picked up and we're excited to have it. I think it'll be a great addition to the collection. We'll do unboxing. So just add a little flair and we'll do the boxing. We'll put a, a link up here for it when it's uh, available. And the last bag we saw while we were in Milan was another bag for the handbag husband, uh, which is a bag that we have seen in like a different version. Because we, when we were in Hong Kong, we saw the Victoria kind the of wide, wide body, yeah, the wide right? Um, but this one is actually the Victoria briefcase. It was the, in. It was a slim. Right yeah, now. it's like, it was a lot. It, I mean, it was basically yeah. the same size as the Kelly Depeche as far as thickness goes. Yeah, but it has um, two handles. Has which two is handles, a zipper. A little more practical, but it's, again, still too thin. Yeah. Uh, it was in Gris Mayor and Togo leather, so it did feel it nice. It still looked green to me. Uh, if you guys green. look at them in the video, I think it still looks green. I'm like, is it some sort it's of green? green? I'm like, is it green? It's is this green? green? I think you have veritophobia. Um, but yeah, so, you know, it was a, it is a professional bag. It was all leather, and it kind of met other our other criteria. It would probably have a little bit more space than the Cali de Pache because it was slightly less structured, a little more kind of floppy, which, again, I like, especially with that Togo leather. Um, but I think it just it just didn't it just didn't it just wasn't vibing with me. I don't know how to say it. It just didn't feel uh, like something that would I would want to carry uh, to the office and back every single day. So I don't know. What, do you, what did you think about it? You knew that you're gonna get offered something in Venice far in advance. Ooh, that's I had why, a premonition. That's why. Yeah. Like, you know what? I'm gonna say no to this one yeah. and then wait yeah. for Venice. Yeah, but the, the, the Kelly the, uh, sa uh, the Kelly Depeche oh, that was tough to say no to. But you know like what? We've had lots maybe, of practice. So think, <laughs> We've had lots of practice. You think maybe if you get offered in a time, maybe once it hits like 10 times, like, you know what? Yes. Fuck it. Yes. We get absolutely. Buy. Like, absolutely. Just, just yeah. buy it and yeah. whatever. I don't yeah. care. It's like anymore. the targeting ad you get on YouTube or whatever. Yes. Right? Like, you see it enough times. You're like, oh, you know what? Maybe I do need shoe polishers. This is basically like Amazon's yeah. website. Like, you kind of scroll <laughs> through. It's like, oh, you know what? Do I need this? Maybe <laughs> I need this. Maybe Your Amazon algorithm's got me. Yes. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Maybe it does have me. That's where we go shoot under.
So that was Milan, and honestly, it went way better than we expected. Our expectations were so, so low. I think it's low. because of all the comments. Yeah, yeah, because we read too many of the comments, and you should check out our Zero Star reviews for that as well. Uh, but uh, yeah, they, they treated us really nice. I mean, everyone was very professional. It was handled very well. And dude, the amount of bag candy they have in Milan, maybe because it's a flagship store. I think Milan has. Was just crazy. I think Milan has the system down with yeah. dealing with tourists yeah. or yeah. the yeah. influx amount of people yeah. that come in yeah. every single yeah. day. Yeah. So they know like what to do, how to yeah. handle it. I, I do like the system. Yeah. yeah. They, they have a very structured, non Italian esque style of <laughs> doing stuff, uh, which, you know, we appreciated. But let's talk about the next boutique, the boutique here, which is considerably smaller. And we also had very low expectations, but dude, this one, because it, it we was got because, so lucky. Yeah, because last yeah. time we were here three years mm -hmm. ago, four, yeah. three years ago, it was their quick visit. It, it was yeah. their quick visit. It was. Like, Maybe it was us though, because we just didn't really know how to engage yeah, with our I essays, so. right? It could be that. They're could like, oh, that. you want the steeple bag? You're like, no, and we're like, bounce, right? Yeah, it could be that. Yeah. So, I mean, there's a couple things that we had going for us in at Venice. First is that we were the first in line, so we got there early. Second of all is, you know, uh, it was a very interesting situation because since we were the first person in, they were still kind of having their meeting, very Italian-like. <laughs> just kind of, first of all, they were like 10 minutes late anyways. But FYI, um, Venice store opens on Sunday. Yes, it's one of the only stores here in Italy that's open on Sunday. Except the... Oh, like something like the Capri and stuff like that, right? Yeah, the, the seasonal, seasonal, seasonal stores. Seasonal stores, seasonal. yeah. So we showed up and they were still in their leather department, in their leather meeting, which in some ways was a little bit awkward. But it also because we were we went up there and we kind yeah. of we stood there for, like what's yeah. going on downstairs yeah. already released yeah. us and, and like, yeah yeah and they I all gave us a look like why are you here what are you doing here right yeah. like yeah. that so but the benefit was i had i had the full selection of all the people who work in the leather department so of course i you know kind of did the algorithm in my brain i said this person looks like they're the most senior person who can make the most decisions so i grabbed that guy <laughs> right and uh turns out no, you, right. you actually gave right. him a way out to say, hey, like, mm. I'm looking for, like, leather yeah. goods. If like, you want to give me someone else to help, that's fine. Yeah, he's like, he's like, oh, all right, all right, I'll do it. <laughs> I'll yeah. Do it. So, and I'm sure glad he did because we got super, super lucky. Because finally, we can chalk one up for the handbag husband because I got a professional bag. Yay! Someone's getting a bag. Is it a professional bag? Uh, we're going to call it a professional bag. Can it's you guys comment movie. down below <laughs> if you think this bag is a yeah. professional it's bag? It's Los Angeles professional, okay? Uh, which the is, hobo chic. Yeah. <laughs> the hobo chic in the yeah. hobo chic yeah. professional. With this bag, I'll be the chicest hobo. <laughs> Either way, it is the Kelly Messenger bag. It is from the newest line. So it is, it's, it's a, in fact, the Messenger bag uh, that they came out that's really a lot bigger. So they kind of supersized it. Uh, maybe for a more typical I men's I guess I don't want audience. to bust your bubble, but it's basically you are the victim. You are victim. You are wait, what's the word for it? You are the victim or you're, victimized? You victim. You were victimized. Yeah. By the calories of the MS. Okay. Okay. So this is true. So here's the thing: <laughs> is if it what? So you guys, you guys so remember? Much, you guys remember right? He was complaining. It's like, oh, MS. They put like, yeah, they put too much Kelly on everything. everything. Hey, Kelly. So this bag. It's basically that because yeah. he was like, yeah. I don't like a master. It's the bag. Steve that's been Kelly Sure. So. <gasps> no. <laughs> uh, but uh, he, he's like, oh, you know what I have? I have a, I have a messenger bag. And I was like, no, never gonna do and it. I, no, I was like, no. Yeah, I was like, no. no you no, want to no. see it? Yeah. And okay. he's like, oh, but it's a Kelly. I was like, oh, you say Kelly? He's <laughs> always like, Kelly. So as much as it's probably like, because you've never seen this bag before. Yeah. Maybe? Yeah. So as much yeah. shit as I talk yeah. about, you know, Hermes being like Kelly and everyone buying it. Yeah. This one was a Kelly, and I was like, you know what? I'm in. <laughs> uh, so it is the Kelly G Messenger bag. It is the largest version they offer. He said it's one of the newest ones, the newer it's ones out last year or so. Last year runway, yeah. But kind of their upscaling of some of the bags to larger sizes, uh, really to target men, is kind of what, how he had uh, pitched it. Voila. Uh, voila. Uh, well done. Good job, Hermes. Yay. <laughs> yeah. And um, it is in uh, a taupe, the color with the white stitching, which always uh, has a nice, like it makes it a little bit more sporty. It does kind of take away from some of the professionalism, but I think it looks really nice on the taupe, as well as uh, it's in Togo leather with palladium hardware. So finally I have a bag that is going to be big enough to carry a laptop and all the kind of stuff. So I've written my magazines and newspapers. Yes, I go non-digital for a lot of stuff. Okay, you can hate on me all you want. Um, but, uh, you know, it finally is big enough to carry around. And although I have always been traditionally kind of against the crossbody bag, when you see the pictures of it, I'm kind of like, 
okay, it's, it's doable, right? It's, it's a no, nice No, I think it's because, uh, think about like, you know, when, when we were talking about, you know what, I had been kind of like, should we get hacker dough? Should we not get hacker dough? Yeah, And the thing that we right. were complaining about is because the strap yeah. is not leather. Yeah. But this is this Kelly Messenger. The mm -hmm. strap is leather, like yes. a real yes. Togo leather, yeah. which is like All a nice, leather. like a nice touch feel to yeah. it. So yeah, I yeah. think that's kind of like so what else, yeah. right? Yeah. Because I feel like if it's it's a canvas, if it's a canvas or like the plasticky thing, mm -hmm. maybe probably like yeah. mm, not sure about it. Yeah. And so I think it's a good bag because it'll kind of, it, first of all, it fits in, you know, it's it's in between where the Kelly Depeche is at and the Kelly Messenger bag is. And it'll, it'll also hold me over until I get that Kelly 50 Voyage. Yeah, sure. Sure. <laughs> so sure. I'm super, super excited. We're, again, we're going to do an unboxing of that one as well and go into all the details and kind of show the inside and out and, uh, you know, just kind of just oogle over it as well. So. Uh, that's the first one we got in Venice. And, and guys, finally, the handbag husband got the bag. And, right. I, and I oh, did not sabotage you, it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, very much. So, uh, so that was good. But also, that's not the only thing that yeah. the handbag has been got. Uh, we Your got wife. something else. No, you do got something too, and I also got something else oh, as well yeah. that I've been looking for. But we're gonna do yeah, yours no, no, first. Yeah. We'll do yours first. We'll do yours first. No, 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 no,
And also our pronunciation problem is so horrible. I'm surprised they're able to find any of these things. <laughs> Um, but he, he did bring it out, and we'll put up some pictures there of it, and I think it just No, looks... he came up with two boxes, and yeah. he was like, come here, come here, like, go, yeah. go, go this Oh, way. yeah, they took us into the room, yeah, yeah where we got yeah. To, into the secret room. And uh, again, the, Ven the Venice boutique is so, so small. They just have one secret, well, I think they have one secret room. They I guess on, at least rooms. on that floor. Yeah, at least on in that the floor. leather we didn't area. We didn't go up there either. Mm. So uh, he busted out, and, you know, you all won't be able to see the look on her face, but uh, she was just like... <gasps> This is what I'm looking for. Yeah, and it was in, it was within like the the criteria the color, you're looking for, yeah. right? So because ideally we were looking for brown and gold, or like maybe cacao. even black that, and that's gold. That's the color. That's yeah. what I was hoping. Uh, but the casino is, is very interesting, and I don't know. Whenever they slide purple in on us, we always kind of sort of take it <laughs> so far. It's not so much bright purple. Mm, it's like yeah, it's still have tint of yeah. um, like red ish yeah. to it. We'll see. Yeah. when it hits like yeah. like bright sun yeah. because we're in the room. Yeah. It's still like kind of dark ish. Yeah. Color, yeah. but we'll see because yeah. sometimes with the back once it hits the sun it's different color mm -hmm. it's in the shade another color so but we'll the, see the gold contrast just just makes it for me too yeah so. yeah uh, what is the, do you know what the leather on it is swift is it swift oh yeah i have seen some in volato you mm. know like my 2024 oh, yeah but i think i no, i think I'm, I'm pretty sure this one is swift yeah yeah. So ov overall, I mean, obviously, it was Venice was a win for us. I know Venice gets a lot of so Milan gets a lot of hate for uh, some reasons which I can understand, and some reasons where I can't. Venice gets lots of hate. I think, I mean, for our experience, un unnecessarily, right? I think that um, it really turns out to be a good experience for us. They were super nice to us. They were super polite to us. And interestingly enough, you know, they have a, a, a kind of a strange dynamic as far as the local and non-local policy. We'll talk about and that. We'll talk more about that as well. And, uh, you know, can you, how, how you get quota bags and non quota bags. We'll do a video for that one as well. But overall, it was a win. We ended up with the Zapango GM, the Maximore, as well as the Kelly Messenger bag Yay. for the handbag husband. So, yeah, that's Yay. right. So uh, there'll be, I'll have a lot more of that kind of stuff coming out and we'll do uh, the reviews of it and uh, i'd love to hear what you all think about the bag as well have to wait and see what florence and rome yeah i mean we still have two more boutiques to go and again florence and rome have always been very generous to us so uh, i i would stay tuned because there's probably be a lot more uh, hopefully at least, or offered, not. To us. At I don't least know. offered to us right i don't know i don't want i don't want to buy i don't know i don't want to buy this is going to be a problem bag. but at least offer to us right uh, i love to uh, who doesn't love to get offered stuff sure All right, so if you cannot tell, it is early morning. We are two espressos deep, and we have the Trevi Fountain. So you know what that means is we get a chance to talk about the bags we got offered in Florence and here in Roma. So for example, let's talk about what we got in Florence. In Florence, this visit, oh, I mean, we, we knew it was going to be a maintenance visit, right? This wasn't meant to be a big bag uh, exploration. Yeah, we didn't really ask for that yeah. many bags. And then, because since I already got the Maximor from yeah. the Venice. I'm kind of yeah. like, okay, I don't know what to yeah. ask for. I didn't really prepare. And we had previously thought... gotten some bags before, yeah, right? In yeah. our last visit, uh, not more than six or eight months ago. Yeah. So, yeah, we thought it was just kind of, this wasn't was going to be one where we show up, show some face, we get some couple things, you know, drink some coffee, have a, you know, have a nice conversation with the SA, let them know we're still here, and have conversations about what our future bag options could be, and we'll get into that a little it's bit gonna more. It's going to be good. Video. It's going to be it's good. It's going to be amazing. Um, but we did get offered a couple things. Um, first was a uh, Kelly Depeche, uh, a briefcase Kelly style. Sack Depeche. Kelly Sack and Depeche, um, which was the same size and the same 36, one that yeah. I already have, and that we've been offered many times. But this one is in, like, dark blue, I think. Yeah, it was dark blue. I guess they had the touch, too. Yeah. Um, we also got offered uh, the small Kelly Depeche, which is very popular right now. You right? see it on the website all the time. Oh, also, you know what? They offer the small Sack and Depeche, right? The small Sack and Depeches, yeah. the little mini small ones, which is exactly the opposite of what we're looking for, <laughs> right? <laughs> I'd much they rather look take it. pretty cute. They do like, look it, cute, but... You're it, not going to use it. I would never use it, right? Um, and then uh, we also got offered, oh, oh, the uh, Victoria uh, brief uh, briefcase port portfolio. The light porto. The gray one. Yeah. Yeah. The same one that the you got offered in The same one we got Rome. offered in Milan as well. Yeah, no, yeah, in sorry, Milan, yeah. Sorry, in Milan, yeah. So, uh, and then also, also, one thing that we did get offered that was that we take too, it. too good too good to turn yeah. down. And because we did see it, and it was so heartbreaking at the LAX boutique, which was the Gigi and uh, the white, oh. I had to turn it down. This time, this one was too good to turn down, which was all black, like Batman. I never Gigi. seen it before, and I was like, "Oh, this is way better than than gold." Yeah. Cool. So I was like, "You know, I'm taking it." Swift leather, oh, it feels so good. I love the fact that it's just leather on leather contact, sure. skin on skin, <laughs> the way I like it. Uh, that was just amazing. So 
Um, so, and then also, uh, oh, the Kelly Messenger bag, right? We got offered that one. Exactly the same one. The exact same one. And you already so, have it, yeah. Yeah, that we were already offered. So it does bring up the question, like, is anyone buying this? Uh, maybe, maybe the big bags for men are not as popular, which is great for me. I'll take that, right? For sure, yeah. Uh, but maybe, maybe they're, maybe they're not, maybe they're not selling like hotcakes, which, again, perfectly fine, hundred percent okay. But uh, of course, we didn't need two of them, so we turned that one down. Uh, I'm trying to think what other bags. Was there any other bags we had offered? I I feel like I could have pushed for like some of the the low the lower bags, but I was yeah. like, I don't have a space. I don't want like they, they're, they're really cute, like Lindy marshmallowy pinky colored one. Like yeah. it was like Kirby, the Nintendo yeah, game guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, we uh, yeah, we definitely could have pushed for some bags, but um, you know, again, we were just kind of coming into maintenance and get to a point where you know, we can continue the relationship and hopefully talk about prospects for the bags later down the road. Yeah, yeah. And, and not put in a request or even take a bag right now that could jeopardize that as well. So. For sure. Mm -hmm. Gotta do what you gotta do. Now, let's talk a little bit about Rome. Roma. Because Rome, I think, Rome was a bit underwhelming as far as offers go. Because of the fact that I think that you know, one thing that was nice about Rome is it wasn't crazy busy, overrun like it was. Last time we were last here, time, yeah. Last time, it, it was, was overrun. It was pretty busy, yeah. And I think they had a lot of really new staff who were just kind of like, just just kind of getting their, their, yeah. their wits about them. Yeah. But this time around, uh, there was plenty of time that we had a long time to talk with our SA, who actually had a decent amount of experience, but, you know, they didn't have a lot to offer us. Uh, and I think that... Um, Part of the reason for that, maybe it's just the timing that we, sh maybe it just could have been a bad time for us to show up. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, we did get offered a Maximor, right? An Inata with it's the gold so hardware. Pretty. It's, it's so, so pretty. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. It, it, I mean, obviously, if we had not gotten the Maximor in Venice, yeah. we would have definitely picked this one up. For sure. No question. Inata and gold no looks so pretty, asked, yeah. but I was kind of contemplating, oh, should I get another one? Mm -hmm. You know, like get two because, like, it's a totally different vibe, yeah, but yeah. it's white or nata, you yeah. know, off white. And when I was looking at the the bottom of the bag, you all like, can see like the yeah, the it did have some like damage like on or wear, not damage, but wear already on it because of just being just, just from being shipping there. and yeah. moving and stuff like that. So I mean, that was a downside to it. I mean, with the color combination, it's almost pretty. the best color, almost the best it, for Maxmore that we've ever seen. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. And on. What items I will. Oh, what else? There's a couple, there's something else, wasn't there? The her bag. Oh yes, that's right. So for me, they offered me the uh, like the Voyage size her bag. So yeah. uh, like a 39 size. I think it's 39. I think it yeah. It was in canvas, but again, you know, I'm looking for more professional bags, and we also got the Kelly Messenger, which is in uh, uh, which is semi in, uh, Clement. I think it's in Clement or Togo. Uh, I don't remember we'll now. See. We'll, we'll see, see when we do the unboxing. Yeah, that's right. When we do the unboxings, uh, but it was a, a, a good. Um, but yeah, so the airbag just, I think, it's a nice bag, but it's kind of outside of what we're looking for. So we actually didn't pick up anything in the Rome boutique, but it was cool to see. We got a chance to talk to an essay and kind of reestablish a relationship uh, uh, since we had not been to Rome for quite some time. And it's definitely a, a, a beautiful boutique and one that we'll be back to. But overall, I think so far, it's kind of the most underwhelming of the I business so. that we had. I think so. I think so too, yeah. All right, so that is all the bags that we have been offered on our Hermes capades here in Italy. Uh, so we went to Venice, Florence, Rome, and uh, Milan. Milan, right? And you know, I'm not gonna say that I am bag burnt out. <laughs> I don't know, Hermes pooped, but uh, it's been it's been a mission, right? It definitely has been a mission. I think that one thing is for true that uh, Milan and Venice were great options. Florence was a great option, and Rome is really kind of the, that point that dropped down. But I don't think that I don't think you should take that as permanent, right? It's always in flux. There's always bags coming in and out, and you know, I think with Rome, it could be because like we didn't ask for the right bag that they have in stock. Yes, and we yeah. kind of picky at what we try to get. Yeah, so yeah, that's if true. You, if you yeah, open, I mean, our, our bingo card is getting filled out as far as our collection. That now the more difficult ones, all the low hanging fruit, has already kind of been taken up yeah. or, or easy been to get, and we see it because we've been offered those bags over and over again, yeah. right? So those are obviously the low hanging fruit. So I don't want to say that the Rome uh, was, is not good overall. It's just in this trip, it was the least good out of the four yeah. that we went to. So Milan, I mean, on point. Venice, on point. Florence, 
equally good as always. Rome, you know, there's some do some better next time. Yeah, we'll do, do, you'll do, do better, better next yeah. time. Keep it up. Yeah. yeah. So that is the bags that we all got offered. Uh, I'd love to know what you all think. Which bags you would have taken? Which ones? Yeah. You, you know, do you think we made the right choice? And, uh, you know, put that, all that stuff down in the comments and we're gonna do some separate videos and Instagrams for all the comments as well. Now, of course, if you like these videos, if you like the Hermes conversation, if you like the Hermes milieu, I mean, if you like the Hermes campaigns, don't forget to like and subscribe because it does really help the channel grow. And of course, we are so, so thankful for that. Grazie mille. Grazie mille. But also because it means you get notified when our newest long videos come out when our newest short videos come out and all the stuff we have on the socials uh, at Handbag Husband on Instagram and YouTube. We have new Hermes content coming out every single week. So with that, from the beautiful city of Roma, under the watchful eye of Neptune, ciao.